Hi everybody, welcome to Sunny Day Stamping. My name is Julie Baca. We're gonna be making a really simple slimline card today. Um, I've been wanting to make another one of these for quite some time, so today we're gonna to do it. I'm also gonna show you how to make your own envelope, but if that's not your thing, don't worry. These cards will fit in a business um, envelope or you can purchase really pretty ones from Stampin' Up! if you'd prefer to do that. And I'll put a link in the description for all of the supplies. Now, every um, one of these tutorials I make on YouTube, I have a corresponding blog post so you can see more pictures of the projects, you can get all the measurements, um, the list of supplies, and you can even purchase all of the supplies right through my website, sunnydaystamping.com. So in the description, you can find all the links for that. Now, before we get started, if you are watching and it is January or February 2022, celebration at Stampin' Up! is going on right now. And it's just a really fun time to purchase supplies because with every $50, you get to pick a free item out of their celebration um, brochure, which has stamps and um, designer series paper like this. I, cause I spent a hundred dollars. <laughs> I got to get this pack of designer series paper, which there are 48 double-sided sheets in here and some great just checks and dots. And like, this is going to go with so many things. And actually, one of the examples of the slimline card, I used that uh, celebration paper. Anyway, let's get started. Oh no, no, there's one more thing. If you are, have a wish list that is longer than $99, larger than $99, consider joining Stampin' Up! And if you have questions, please reach out to me, leave me a comment or contact me through my website because really that is the best way to get a um, great deal on products. And during celebration, you get to pick out $175 worth of products for $99. Or if you want to spend $129, you get $175 worth of products and you get to get a mini um, mini cut and emboss machine. Here it is. I love this. That's so cute. Anyway, all right, now we can get started. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be using the Good Feeling stamp set just because they have these really large sentiments that are great for the front of a card. And then I'm gonna be using the Happy Labels for the inside. And um, on some of my samples, I use these on the envelopes too. For the card that we're making together, I'm gonna be using the Delicate Desert Designer Series paper. Aren't these just awesome? I love these colors together. We're gonna to be using this one. That pack of paper is out of the new uh, mini catalog. So if you haven't looked at that, there are so many fun things in there. Okay, so we're just gonna slice off three and three eighths inch strip from this. And to get to three eighths, you go to three and a quarter and then two tick marks to the left. You can save this for another project, but then this one, Hold on, let me get the arm of my paper trimmer out. I love this paper trimmer that you can cut larger sheets of paper um, just with that extending that arm. Um, so then we're gonna cut this at eight and three eighths. And we're gonna use this scrap in our card. You know I love to use scraps. <laughs> Before you put your paper trimmer away, cut this. Um, you can cut it in half. I did cut mine at two inches and then whatever is left over. <laughs> and we're gonna use this on the front of our card and this on the inside. So because we're gonna be stamping our sentiment directly on this designer series paper, I'm gonna use my Stamparatus so that I can um, re-stamp the image multiple times if needed to make sure it gets a nice black dark image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm kind of lining up where am I gonna have this designer series paper on my front and where do I want my image? And this will be different however you, um, whatever sentiment you use and where you want yours lined up. Okay, so I think that's where I want. I'm gonna move the magnet over my paper to hold that down and then press. So this is the best way to line it up. And then a little tip for you. I'm going to, goodness, I keep losing my stuff. To take a stamp pad, whichever one you're gonna use, and just put it on the underside of your um, stamp apparatus there. So when you are applying the ink, it's not going to bounce up and down on you. It gives you a nice, strong uh, surface there. I'm gonna press that down and you can see it didn't quite stamp there or there. And on a white piece of cardstock, I might not, it might not really matter to me so much, but on this, I really want it to be black. So we're gonna go again. We'll see if we need one more time. We'll just do one more time. Honestly, no, it looks just perfect twice. Great. 
This Stamparatus is great if you're making multiples of the same card because you can just see where you want it and just stamp, stamp, stamp. It's fantastic. <laughs> now, since I have this ink out, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the inside of my card. Um, I'm, also, I'm going to decide, okay, where do I want my designer series paper and then where do I want this stamp to go? I, I love the sentiments in this new stamp set. I'm going to use the I just want to hug you and we'll put it just right in the middle. All right, so we've got the outside of our card done and the inside of our card done, so I'm just going to glue everything together. I'm going to be using my this little silicone craft sheet because you can get glue on it and it will um, dry and just rub right off, and that just keeps the rest of my surface nice and clean. And so I'm just going to line this up. And so if any of this glue squooshes out, it's going to go right on that craft sheet and not all over my work surface. There, I love how these just lined up so perfectly, very minimal cutting, <laughs> very easy to do. The designer series paper, because it's double-sided, we just cut it, flip it, and it's automatically gonna coordinate. So this is a guy's card, so I wouldn't normally add ribbon to it, but I think it just needs a little extra something. This is the uh, Baker's Twine Pack, and just get like, I don't know, two feet, 30 inches of ribbon, and just um, wrap it around here, and we won't tie a bow. That'll make it not not for a girl. Okay, here we go. We'll just tie it in a manly knot like that. And then kind of spread these out a little bit. Ooh, I like the geometric. It kind of matches the inside there. Ooh, and let's, what we'll do is pull the threads on this so it gets kind of uh, frayed. Ooh, there, that gives it some cool texture. All right, I'm just gonna try something, and if we don't like it, I'll I'll fix it. But <laughs> I kind of like these long strands. It kind of just we've got kind of the Aztec look, the kind of Arizona Southwest look going. So I think maybe a little tassel would be super cool. I'm just gonna tie another little piece here, and then also separate these uh, threads. I'm gonna cut it down though. All right, I like it. I may not like it tomorrow, but I like it right now. Now I don't normally show you how to cut the card base, but this is a different card base. And I also messed up doing this several times. So I kept cutting it wrong. So this is eight and three quarters and you wanna cut that off of the long, long side of this paper and then cut it at seven and a half. And then you're gonna score it at three and three quarters. All these measurements are over on my website. I also have them on the Print and Make project sheet. This is for my email subscribers. I will email this out to you on Friday. Um, if this is after that, this video has been um, shown, you can just email me um, and let me know that you want this uh, project sheet and I'll email it to you. So here's our card base. I'm gonna glue all these on and we'll get right to making our envelope. I just wanted to add that if you tie your ribbon on there and it is loose at all, you can just take some tape and tape it on the back. You can even like spin it just a little bit and tape it in place to tighten it up. That's one of the beauties of having the um, ribbon layer on a layer of cardstock because you can put ugly tape on the back. There's that cool thing. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make an envelope. Okay, to make a quick envelope, you're gonna take one piece of cardstock. You don't even cut it at all. And we are gonna score it at two and a half and six and a half when it's in this landscape position. Rotate it and we're gonna score it at one and a half. Oops. <laughs> Boy, I just had a Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness. My brain just stopped working there for just a minute. One and a half and then 10 and a half. So that's going to create um, a little tab at the bottom of the envelope and the tab at the top that's larger. Now I'm going to try to hold this so you can see it, but I can definitely see these score lines. And so there's one little line here and I'm going to snip at a diagonal. Oh, that's the wrong way. 
<laughs> I'm going to snip at a diagonal here and here, creating a little mitered corner for the bottom flap. And we're going to do the same on this side. There are two score lines coming down here and my flap is going to be here in the middle. I'm going to just snip up to that diagonal on that side and the same on this side. Now, if, whoa, there goes my earbud. Now, if you don't like it not all measured out, you can measure in um, like a half an inch and draw yourself a line to that score line. But this was just the easiest way for me. Now you can cut out the excess with your paper trimmer, with your scissors, or I like to use the paper trimmer. I'm gonna bring the cutting blade down and where I, it's gonna stop at this score line and where I cut, this is just gonna come right out so easy. Like that, flip it around. Wow, I am messing up because I just cut into my, <laughs> that blade got away from me. There we go. Now your envelope is gonna look like this. This is the top flap and this is the skinny little bottom flap. And we're just gonna fold these in. Actually, I'm gonna turn this over so that the hump of my score line is towards the center. Now you can see that one flap is narrower and one is larger. The larger is gonna go down first and then the skinnier flap. And this allows for that line to be right in the center. Then I just put a glue here. You can use other adhesive too, but I just tend to have the, <laughs> the liquid glue all the time. Now I am going to use some tear and tape just for right here so that this envelope will have adhesive on it. And I'm not going to take off the top until I'm ready to send that in the mail but it'll be ready for me. I don't have to go digging out my glue. So here's our great, easy slimline card. Perfect for a guy. Throw it in your homemade envelope or you can buy some. So here's our card in our envelope all put together. I did make another one using that same Delicate Desert Designer Series paper. This is one piece of Designer Series paper, all those colors on it, just gorgeous. And then um, this is from that Happy Labels um, stamp set and I, uh, also stamped on the envelope here. And then this one I made with the Dandy Delight Designer Series paper. It's the free Designer Series paper in the Celebration catalog. So if you are in need of craft supplies, stamping supplies, this is the absolute best time to buy them because you get to pick those free items out of the catalog. If you have any questions about getting, you know, putting your order together to get the most freebies, let me know. I love to help with that. <laughs> Before you go, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, um, you can hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my videos that come out. I post one a week and I'm also starting to do YouTube shorts, so those are fun. Anyway, I hope you have a great and sunny day. Thank you so much for watching.